this now. We want to. So, working on this, we. Uh, I'm hoping to cut this. To cut. Uh, I'm moving to start cutting the starts. I want to cut this out. This is the the Chelsea elastic Chelsea boot. So to cut this out, the best way to work on it is that we will start by first centralizing this. But before we get to do that, the first thing we get to do is that we want to look at the height. The height is very, very important. Important in the sense that the height of the mode we meant to use, our mode is meant to determine the the shape we are gonna get. So to get to get to do that, after we've been able to ascertain the shape, knowing that this shape is gonna go with this, the next thing we do now is to then start forming it. This project is made with a uh, with suede uh, leather, and at the same time in here, I will be using a suede leather to make this project. So we're going to be using a suede leather to to make this project. So to work with this project, the first thing I need to do is to just cut the pattern out. Here is the suede leather I'm going to be using to make this project. It looks like this also. But to that, to, before we get to Working on all this material, the most important thing here is just to get this pattern out. Getting this pattern out, what I need in here, I need my last. My last has to be here. In here, my last has to be here, and then I've marked this last out. The re what I mean by I marked this last out is that I said I've marked this last out. Marking this last out means that I've taped this all around with. A maxing tape. Here is the maxing tape, one inch maxing tape, which I use in taping this. So, to start with this, I'm going to start representing what I have in here. What I have in here, I'm going to start representing it on the last. So, to start with, I'm going to start by coming in to do this with my pencil and start drawing it. So, I'm going to have pick a flexible or a flexible ruler right in here and then force. Come to this center in there and then get this out. Okay, I'm gonna get this out. I want to have it centralized at the center in there. I'm gonna have it centralized. I'm gonna have this centralized. What I mean by having it centralized, dividing this to the two equal parts. Yes. I'm gonna be I've done this. I've done this and I've divided this into two equal parts in the front in here, and I'm also gonna come in here to to do the same thing at the back. Looking at this project, what I just did on this mode is that I uh, divide I max a particular side. Just one side of it is what I max. I didn't max the complete project just because. I want I just want to use this part of this project, this part of this last to generate all my entire pattern. Uh, that's why I'm marking this particular side of it. So to go on with it, what I'm gonna be doing here is that I will be start I will start by sketching this right now. To, to go with that, I'm gonna start like this. I'm gonna start by first. Yes, I'm okay with this height. The height of my mode is very, very okay for me. I, I think I'm okay by. I'm okay with the height of my last. So since I'm okay with the height of the last, the next thing I'm going to do now is to then come over and just start beginning sketching. This is very, very easy because this, uh, this is the project we're sketching, and then. All part of here are the are the uh, leather. This is just an elastic part of it. And then let's just go. And then one thing you should understand that there's a disconnection in here. So this disconnection is what well, you must take note of. This disconnection. So that is the part that it was just joined together. There's a disconnection in here. You might not really view it very well, but there's a disconnection 
in here. For those that have a church support at home, you can check in here. There's always a disconnection at the side. In there. That is the only disconnection that we have in there in this church support. So to start with, we're going to come in here. And for another thing we have to do before we start sketching is we're going to look at the height. Okay, so I want, to, I want to come to the extreme end in here. The extreme end, that is the height. So I can come, this is my extreme end. I can come this way. I can come in this way and uh, have this. Yeah, this is just a sketch, so it's very, very possible you will not be doing a perfect drawing at the first sketch. You are not going to do, it's very possible you are not going to do a perfect drawing at the first, first time you sketching is That does not mean, that doesn't really mean anything. But the most important thing is just for you to eventually get the whole project out. Okay? So in here. As I said, it's a sketch, not a drawing. Not a drawing. And then, then connect it to the back end there okay so this already is looking at what we have in here so i'm going to detail it very well it's going to take time to detail it very well what you just need to do at this point is just try as much as possible to detail it to represent what we have on the screen what you want to do how to represent it on the mode very very well represent it on the mode Okay, so I've get this out. Okay, for it to be so glaring, I will have to shade it multiple time. I've shaded multiple times for it to be so glaring, so you can really see the old image of the project yourself. For you to see it out, I really mark it, mark it very very well. Okay, so now this is it and then this is coming down in here is the elastic gauge which is coming from this point so the elastic does not come to the real edge if you check through this particular one we're working on the elastic does not get to the exact edge in here just start somewhere below it so we're having this below this so here is it we've been able to draw this here is elastic Elastic this is the elastic right? These are the letters that comes in it. So I've been able to draw this. You can see right in it's quite easy, very, very easy to draw. So I've been able to get this. The next thing I'm gonna be doing is that looking at this image, the back is not really visible. We don't really get to see what is at the back of this project. But at an uh at the back of this project, you can come in here and then put something like this. At the band that's going to be connect closing the this connection that's going to be at the back there's always going to be connection at the back so uh, the back needs to be closed all together so this is this band flap is what's going to use to close it and this is just having a multiple function the other function that this is going to be having is that this is going to be helping you to also be able to pull it up because this at the back is going to be extended up in there and it's going to be standing as a pull it's going to be standing 
as a pull up for you to pull up knowing that it's not so easy wearing uh chelsea boots knowing that especially the ones that comes with the elastic the the uh, the zip up is uh, quite easy because the zip gives an opportunity to open up completely but this one does not really give an opportunity to open up completely at the back so elastic is always fully covered so since it's fully covered then it's not quite easy to wear so we have to force it up so when the press of forcing it uh it's always good to have an ex additional one up and yet it's going to use to put it up very well so we have this and this is a complete drawing of our uh adjustable this this is a complete drawing of it so the next thing i'm going to be doing right now is that i will be uh transforming this i will be cutting this out right now i've made this i've drawn this out as you can see it's just a complete replicant of what we have in here so the next thing i will do now is to then come over and let's cut this out so the first thing i'm going to be doing right now is that to cut this out i'm going to be using uh my knife to cut this out I'm going to be using my knife to cut this out. At the absence of this knife, you can get to use your um, razor blade. So I'm going to be doing this to this right now. So cutting this out is going to give uh, a full, a clear view of what we've drawn right now. Let's get cut it out. So we're cutting this out right now so cutting it out is what we're gonna be we're gonna have right in here so after i might try to cut that out i'm trying to eliminate the portion that which we're not be using so for it not to confuse us we have to cut the point we're not going to use we cut it out try to trim that out now I'll trim the point we're not using it out okay okay so right in there see it comes out very clear so i've been able to trim all the points i don't need in here i've been able to trim it out so the next thing is that i come over to start opening out one after the other i'll try to start opening this up one after the other right now okay before i get to that i'm going to trim this this to generate a pattern out from this we don't need this base so we don't need it we don't need it we don't need it we don't need it so trim it out we don't need this base we don't need it so i cut the base out Okay, so I've cut this out. Uh, I like it to be very interactive. So if you have any question you'd like to ask me, please, I'd like to drop it in the chat in there. So uh, from this point, so I'm going to give you some minutes to ask any other question you'd like to ask. Um, so if you want any question based on this, so ask right now. I will definitely respond to your chat right now. Holding up, waiting on for questions based on the point that you've got into. So, <laughs> no, yeah, I'll disconnect the 
so hello uh -huh. so I've disconnected so the next thing is to then so do you understand this thing? yes I'm following uh -huh. <laughs> so so let's move I let's move forward let's move forward in it let's move forward Okay, coming up right in there, the absence of no uh, message in there, I'll have to like continue. Continuing this, I want to disconnect this, call this out. But knowing that uh, the, in the project that we uh, were drawing earlier, there is a uh, disconnection in here. There's a connection in here. Here. Looking, going back to the image that we have, there's a connection in there. Here. This base, there's a connection in there. So, so at that point, we're gonna be. This is the point at which it's gonna connect it. So, I when it's time for me to cut this out right now, I will be cutting with this. But for a uh, uh, first time I that wants to do this, I recommend at the point you sketch and you have multiple stripes like this, I re recommend you just pick your pen, your pyro. Pick your bio and then you 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 resketch this again. So the reason for you to resketch this again is also you can eliminate the uh, eliminate the multiple stripes that you have in there. So but for uh, uh, someone that has been working with you, you don't really need it. You can easily just go on straight with it. So I will be going on straight with it right now because I know the lane that which I will be following. So what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna just come in this way. I'm gonna come in this way. Come in that way. That is out. Then I can try to come in this way too. What I have to just inform you here is that there's two ways at which we can get this out. This can be cut out completely, and this can also be separately detached, detached from each other. So what we're gonna be doing in here is that okay, come. I've tried to detach the elastic, and then I'm gonna go on by detaching the elastic, and then just get this out separately. Or oh, I got the oh, other option is that you get the complete frame out completely once you have it out completely, and then we start separating it out on the base. Okay, so. Let me get it out. This the easier part of it is the point at which you get it out completely. So I've tried, I've cut this, but for you to understand very well, I'm going to mark this back again for you to see how I'm going to cut this out completely. Please, on that machine, for me. So take part of the machine. Is that more? Machine posting. You know, sitting down. Sorry, 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 sorry. No, not this one. Sorry, Joe. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So I am going to be using this way. I'm going to be joining it back just because uh, I've disconnected this earlier. And I want to show you how you're gonna cut it out full. So that's why I will be using a tape to bound it back so I can open it once. That is, I think that is quite more easier. Easier here. But if I'll be to be working this in the workshop like this, I will easily just working it myself. I will just cut it out separately. And believe me, it's gonna come out very, very cool. So I'm using 
Yeah, I'm using this tape because this tape is uh, you see through. You can see through this tape, so that this is going to affect any of our drawing. That's why I decided to use this tape to glue it back. So I'm using this tape to glue it back. This is a see-through tape. Okay. This is a see-through tape. Okay, I'm using it to glue it while I continue. I then move forward to the bundle. Okay, so I have this right now. I've used the tape to put the back. As you can see, it's not so obvious that it has been disconnected earlier. So now, what I want to do is to then come over and drop this. The next thing I'm going to be doing right now is then open completely so in the place of opening this i want to open this knowing that this thing you see in here this drawing you see in here is in a two 3d format yes is in a 3d format and you can use a 3d format project for as a pattern as a ready to use pattern you cannot use that so knowing that you can't use that you have to use it in a 2d format so we're trying to transform from a 3d format back to a 2d format that we can use for our day-to-day -day. so we want to do get a project a pattern that not just by we using it now but a project pattern that we will be using after now we make it up we store it in our, our pattern bar bank so okay just because i've opened it earlier you know the strength Will have been waking up in there, so I try to. Okay, so this you have to do it gently. Okay, so I have this, and then just because of my disconnection earlier, that is why this is kind of weak at that point at which I joined it. So coming back in here on my on the tape, I can then connect it back and I connect it back. Okay, I've connected back right now and I have this. So if earlier I decided to do it separately, I will have just removed this separate and removed this separate. But right in here, I want to do it all together so you can have a good idea of that this is kind of more easier so, to fix right in here. So now coming up here, I have this. This is a paper board, so I want to use this to transfer this to. Knowing that it has been moved away from a 2 3D. I'm not dropping up to a 2D, a X, Y dimension image. So, I have this right in here. I have this drop there. I have this drop in here. Okay, because it's in a 3D dimension, some parts will have, have uh, degrees in there and it's going to be curved. And that means that it's not going to be lying down perfectly. Never care about that. Don't really bother yourself about that. Our approach is going to come out very cool this part is rough in there is going to our project is going to come out our project is going to come out very very cool. so right in there i have this right now i'm done with this and i've dropped this down i've dropped this down i've dropped this down i've dropped this down okay i've dropped this down so i come here what i want to do is that i want to use this to get a total frame of, of my project, a total 
Scalenty, yeah, Scalenty of my page. That's what I want to use this to get. So I come in here to just do this. Cut on the on the line in here. Want to cut on the line in here? Okay. Without no allowance, not put adding no allowance, nothing. I'm not adding. I'm not adding any allowance today, so I have this right now. I'm adding allowance, nothing to this right now. So, no allowance to this right now. So, I call the exact of this out. So, I've got this out right now. So, this is the frame of the whole project. I've got the frame of this project. The next thing I'm going to be doing right now is to then use the frame of this, which I've got to get a separate section of all this out right now. So, I've transferred a 3D format of a project to a 2D. But right now, I'm going to be using this to get a ready to use and a usable pattern that's what i want to generate thank you so much uh i'd like you to join me part of this uh filming i would like to join because i'm going to be extending this so if you like to see the concluding part of this i like it i like you to share and then subscribe it's the information so when i go live on this completed part of this and some hours later then you will be notified that i am live look forward to have you see you around to then to right now i'm going to Take a break right now and then for the, stu the student in here to practice this, what I've just done right now. Oh, no. I'll go do this thing now.